video, we are going to see an example. Let's look at the example, which is the example 17. A metal bar is held in a fixture and shaped by three hydraulic press operations. Operation starts by pressing start, push button. Hydraulic press A presses in after five seconds. A second hydraulic press B comes after seven seconds in from another direction and holds. Then comes the last press C after 10 seconds and holds the position from another direction. The stop button will release the hydraulic pressure from all the directions. Now let's head over to the open PLC editor and construct the letter diagram for the given example. First of all, I will create a new project. Thereafter, I will press Ctrl N and click on the new folder. Then name my folder to example 17. I will select folder and change the language to letter diagram. Press this down and click on the power rail. Then add the left power rail on the left side and right click on the mouse. Then the power rail on the right side. Then I will add the variables here. My first variable will be the start with type boolean and my another contact will be stop and so on with my another variable as press A then also my another variable press B and my last variable which is press C also the memory bit which is M not. I will drag this up and I will start with the contact here, which is going to be the start. In my first rung, I just need to create a push button and in series, the stop switch which is going to be normally close contact. And on the right side, I will add a coil. I'll join these pins here. And I'm going to change or modify the contact here. My first rung is complete. Then on to my second rung. I will adjust the size. Then join these pins. And add the block from the standard function blocks, which is T on. I will increase the size. Then I'm going to add a coil, which is the press A. Then again, I will just copy and paste 
in-memory based M0 or my third one then I will copy and paste my function block and I will copy and paste the coil and modify it as press V then for my last rung I will modify the coil to press C and I will copy and paste the function block and I will copy and paste the contract here and I will join the pins for my three rungs and I'm going to join the pins for my second rung and at last I will add the variables And I will write the hash for my first block. The preset time is going to be five seconds. Then I'm going to copy and paste the same variable for my second block and join the pin. Then double click on the block and change the preset time and do the same for my last block double click on the variable and change the preset time to 10 seconds thereafter i'm going to run the simulation the simulation is complete You can see press A, B, and C on the right side. Clearly, they all are false. And when I start the process, after five seconds, press A is going to be true. And after seven seconds, press B will be true. And after 10 seconds, press C will be true. Now, there might be another possibility that let me just stop the simulation here and the possibility may be like this that after 5 seconds the press A will be on and when press A is on after 7 seconds press B will be on. And when the press P is on, after 10 seconds, the press C will be on, which just means that I need to add the previous preset time to the current one, which just goes to show that I need to add these two preset times, which is 7 plus 5 is 12. And for my last block, I just need to add the previous preset time which is 12 and which is 22 on adding them both now again I will start the simulation the simulation is complete I will debug it now I'm going to start 
the process as you can see that after five seconds the press A is on and when the press A is on then after seven seconds press B will be on and after the press B is on the press C will be on after 10 seconds and they will be continuously on and when I press on to the stop the all processes will be stopped or they will go false and with this our video ends here thank you for watching